What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw, ink, and color a Velociraptor. Let's begin today's lesson by creating a rough sketch of the head. We're going to start at the very top left side. We're going to sketch out a circle. It's going around the left side down towards the bottom. Just using these short lines to create our circle. Now this doesn't have to be perfect because we'll eventually erase this out. And then from here, we're going to separate the upper and lower jaw. Let's we'll start from the left side of our circle. Start with a straight line going across towards the right. And then from here, we're just going to curve this up and in towards the top of our circle. Now from the left side of that line, we're going to step in, draw the lower jaw. We're going to angle this down and out to right about there. And then curve this out and then up towards the left side of our circle. Now you want to show the back edge of the mouth. So we start from the tip, curve this out, and then down. And then right where that curve meets the circle, it's going to bend this down and then out toward the lower jaw. Now going up to the top left side, we're going to sketch a large circle for the eye socket. From the top of our circle, we'll step up. It's going to overlap the circle, going all the way around. Let's add a smaller circle in the center for the eye. Now from here, we're going to draw in the neck. Let's come down to the bottom left side of our circle, curve the neck coming down, and we'll bend that out. Go underneath the jaw, bend this out, and then down. Now the next step is to add a second level of detail by refining the shape. Let's we'll start from the corner of the mouth. We're going to step down, curve this up, and then in towards that line. Bend this down and up. Now I'm going to add another curve, coming down, across the mouth, and then just pull that back up. Let's add some shape to the front edge of the jaw. Starting out here, bend this across, and then bring that down toward that line. I just want to bend that back out towards the tip of the jaw. Let's add a bump across the chin, coming down and then up towards that line. Round this out, going out. Now we're just going to pull that back up towards the corner of the mouth. Now we're going to move back up and add some shape to the eye. From the left side of that circle, step out, curve this up, then across. Go back to the left side, step up, curve this down underneath that circle, and then bend that up towards the right. Let's round out the back of the head. Coming down and out. I'm just going to extend the head going out and around the jaw towards the neck. Now you want to add some shape to the upper edge of the beak. Starting up here, come down, just blend that out. I'm going to add a bump going up and then back down towards the right. Let's step up, round this out. Now I just want to pull that back down towards the tip of the beak. Let's add some more detail inside the mouth. We we'll start along the inside with a curve and then we'll add in the tongue. Starting up here, curve this up and down, bend that back up and then down toward the tip of the tongue. Let's draw the bottom of the tongue coming across and then down and then bend that back up towards the inside. Now you want to add some guidelines across the neck. Let's start from the base of the head, come down and then across with a curve. Now I'm just going to step down, just repeat this all the way down towards the bottom of the neck. Now we want to add a thick edge along the top of the mouth. Start from the corner of the mouth, just taper this up, and just follow those curves going all the way across towards the front of the beak. Now we're going to add that fold inside the beak. Starting from the outside, curve this up, come down towards the right. I'm just going to hook that back in. Once we're done with the rough sketch, we're going to go in with our ultra fine point marker and start adding some detail and refining the shape. Let's start just above the eye, just working the shape going around. 
I'm just darken that up, just adding a thick edge along the bottom. And we'll work our way across the bottom of the eye. And we'll add some detail along the inside. Adding the pupil. And then from here, we're just going to work our way out from the eye, just adding some wrinkles and folds. Now from here, I'm just adding some scales across the top of the eye, just along the bottom edge. Work our way towards the front of the eye. We'll add a thick edge and shadow across the top. I'm just gonna add some bumps across the top of the eye. Working away from left to right. Now we're going to switch to our thicker Sharpie marker and just trace the outside perimeter of the head. Just adding some bumps as we go. back and trace the outside. From here, it's going to work our way across the top edge of the mouth. Just adding a thick edge. And I'll go back and add a thick shadow across that fold inside the beak. forward and adding in the nostril. And we'll darken up the inside. Now I'm going to go back and add some scales across the top edge of the mouth. Just darken up the bottom, just creating a little bit of a shadow and just pulling these lines going up. From here, just placing in the scales in between.
I'm just fading the scales out as they come up. I'm using a few less lines. And I'll add some spots along the inside. Now from here, we're just working our way across the bottom edge of the jaw. Now we'll just work our way across the back of the head, adding these bumps. I'm going to stay on the back, start adding some wrinkles and folds across the back of the neck. And then we'll taper out the ends. And we're just going to enhance the shadows across those folds across the neck. And now we're going to add a little bit of a shadow along the front edge. and bring that up toward the base of the jaw. Now I'm going to go back and continue adding these scales. I'm just going to carry some of those scales along the back side of the neck. Now from here I'm just going to go across the top edge of the mouth and start adding in some fangs. Just leaving a little bit of a gap in between. And we're just bending the fangs coming in. So there's a little bit of a curve. some smaller teeth along the bottom. Let's work our way up towards the tongue. Now let's start adding some detail and shape to the tongue. Starting along the top edge. I'm also going to add a little bit of fold along the top. And I'm going to draw on the back side the jaw, to add the silhouette of the teeth going in behind.
draw on the back side of the throat and fill that in. We'll add some wrinkles and folds around the outside. Now once we've finished inking this in, I'll go back and erase our sketch underneath. Now to add some color, we're just going to use our markers to add a base layer of color. I can also use this white Posca pen to add some bright highlights. Now we're going to move in with a cool gray and fill in the rest of the head. Now to add some dramatic lighting, I'm going to add a highlight in the front of the neck, starting with this orange on the front, and then just blending that out towards the right and left. And then we'll grab our yellow and enhance that highlight. Let's add a little bit of orange along the bottom of the head. And we'll grab a darker blue and enhance our shadows. And now we're just adding some highlights with a white pencil crayon going across the top edge. Then using our white Posca pen to enhance those highlights. Thank you. 
And as we get near the end, we'll finish up our highlights and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color a Velociraptor. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And if you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.